Oh, we got a new one. Okay, it's time to skedaddle. There's no way I'm going to try and take two on at the same time. Oh shit, she's right on us! Welcome back, everybody, to... I almost said Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, seven Days to Die on Insane Difficulty. Zombies run all of the time. Oh, hey, stay away from me, you son of a bitch. Um... We, we are literally picking up right where I left off. I mean, I left off right there. <laughs> and so uh, we're just going to keep working our way towards the trader. Trying to avoid the zombies as much as possible. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's get started here. Okay, so keep our working our way for, towards the trader. Um, we have 24 arrows on us, which is not a lot. I'd like to keep getting more. Okay, that's going to help. How are we doing? We're getting a little low on stone. Uh, if you didn't see the last episode, we took one of the points that we took for the first four points that we get from the quest was uh, hiding the shadows or from the shadows or whatever. Um, and we're going to kind of definitely take the stealthy approach in the very early game here and try and avoid the zombies as much as possible. Just because they are so hard to kill and we are so weak at this point in time. But eventually, we will get leveled up and equipped up. And eventually, you know, we'll be able to start taking them out with relative ease. I don't know if it ever gets super easy. Well, it probably does in the very end game if you got like top tier equipment. But it takes a long time to get there. So, you know, it's a struggle... Uh, all through the early and even through the mid game, you know, fighting the zombies. But this is my third uh, alpha, you know, playing the game on insane. I started doing it in alpha 16, always run, and then all through alpha 17. And now we're doing it in alpha 18. There is some medical stuff at the top of that house, but there's also several zombies in it too, so probably shouldn't mess with that yet till we get to a place where we can um, call home. I need to make another bedroll too. I've been jabbering this whole time and not paying attention. That's what's going to get us killed. So it's a good idea to always keep a bedroll on your toolbar, uh, especially in the very early game. And uh, you know, if you start to get in trouble or whatever, you can set it down so at least you're not like 10 miles away from your stuff when you respawn. Oh, wolf. There seems to be, <clears throat> on the multiplayer game, uh, there seems to be a lot of wolves, more than normal, which is not good. Uh, let's make two of those. And we want them on our toolbar so we can plop them down quickly. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so we're getting close to the trader. Boy, that wolf is close to us, though. In fact, the tra that's the trader right there, I think. Yeah, I think that is. So once we get to the trader, then we have, you know, refuge inside during the day, of course. But not at nighttime. Alright, let's get these guys down here. So if we happen to get in trouble, uh, we can set this down. So what we're going to do is we're going to find a place to live uh, close to the trader. Now, the other thing that we want to be close to is some kind of a water source. There's a rabbit there. Scared me for a second. So let's get the trader part done first, and then we'll look around and see where we might be able to get some water. Did I just cancel that? No, never mind. The Zeke right there. I thought that was another bird's nest. We hit that one, but then there's one here. Okay. Opening cars in Alpha 17 made a hell of a lot of noise. All right. Uh, I guess we'll take that stuff. Let's 
turn this into that. So that gives us. Uh, we should. You know what I, else I should have been doing? I should, I should have been making more armor out of the uh, the grass. Oh, there's a dire wolf. That's not good. Wait, this is the trader, right? Yeah. Oh, man. We don't want to mess with him. I believe they buffed the... I think they buffed all the animals, actually. Oh, go all the other way. I mean, we could run in and get away from him, but then he's going to kind of have us pinned down in there. Whew. Okay. All right, now, let's see if... Oh, look at that. We have a working Kim bench. That's fantastic. Uh, in our multiplayer game for the trader that we went to, all of this stuff was working. Oh, man, the one thing that we probably needed the most is not. <laughs> it's got 16 forged iron in it. I'm going to leave that in there for now, but we'll probably make use of that later. Oh, that sucks. What about the tool bench? There's usually a tool bench. Of nails. Yeah, this cement mixer doesn't work either. Looks like we got the attention of our dire wolf buddy. I'm not too worried about that right at the moment, though. Uh, does this work? Okay, so at least we got a <clears throat> we got a working workbench and a working kim bench. That doesn't suck. That does not suck at all. Because usually, more often than not, when you ran across those you know tool stations. In the world in Alpha 17, they were broken. I would say, I don't know, probably 75% of them damn things were broken. So, uh, working Kim Bench, working Tool Bench is not a bad thing at all. Not at all. Okay, let's just go here. I think there's a couple. Might be something to loot up here. I can't remember. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, we can't harvest those or pick those. Okay, let's go in here and greet our trader. Let us visit for a while. They still, <laughs> they still haven't fixed Trader Jen's voice. I, that, that's just, I don't get that. That's got to be the easiest thing for them in the world to fix. Oh, whatever. Okay. Um, this is not a, a slam the fun pimp session. I I love the game. I love the fun pimps. They're awesome. It's just sometimes it's like I don't get that. All right, let's see. Yeah, let's look at your, you look at your inventory first. Oh man, look at that <laughs> purple SMG. If only. Looks like they did change the model on that too. Uh, all right, what do you have for weapons besides that? That's like miles out of our reach right now. Uh, looks like that's really kind of all you have. Okay. Uh, what about food? Okay, mods. Press boy cat mod. Press boy mod. Makes helmet look like a press boy. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay. Well, um, maybe we should sell some stuff. What would we want to sell right now that's just not really going to help us a whole lot? Will you buy the brass for eight coin? <clears throat> I mean, we are going to definitely need brass, but probably not for a while yet. And by the way, brass is supposed to be a lot easier for us to get now. So, yeah, let's sell that. We used to need the nails to make a bellows, but the thing is, is we don't actually... Re uh, the forge does not require a bellows anymore. In fact, it doesn't even look like that's a recipe. What, um... Okay, let's try this. Does this tell us Pleasure if we get back out what recipes uses this? So boards, loose boards, sofas, furniture types of things. An, an advanced bellows requires those. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It didn't show up because I was in the trade menu. So it looks like that's all there is. There isn't a normal bellows. There's an advanced bellows. Okay. Well, that's probably not something we're going to be getting any time soon so let's um yeah let's sell that oh we got 48 coin for that it's not so bad oh she doesn't want those anyways she he not sure what to call them. 
let's see. Bones? No. Acid. 28 coin. <sighs> what do we need that for? Kind, sir. Grandpa's elixir stuff, lead car battery. Oh, really? So, does that mean we can make batteries? No? Military recog, time to charge. Oh, yeah, right. We got that in wheels. We should probably hang on to this. I don't know how rare this is going to be. It was somewhat rare in Alpha 17, as I recall. So, yeah, let's hang on to that. Uh, the glue for four. Mm, could make a duct tape out of it. Yeah, let's just sell that right now. Let's just get rid of the seeds. We don't need that stuff. Gunpowder. She doesn't want to buy animal fat. We'll buy that. The bear would give us a stamina and a brawling and stun rate. Yeah, okay. We better keep that. That'll help us with stunning. Uh, okay, I guess that's really it. Not really anything else to sell to him, her, right now. <laughs> I want to keep the eggs. Oh, we don't need that. Oh, Gratitude. I was, was going to read that. Oh, shit. Travels, friend. Quick note from the Duke Navigates game. Okay. Here, let's read this really quick. It's just a storyline thing. It's not anything really important. Oh, wait a second. Uh, here we go. Just a friendly reminder that you pay on time every time or there will be consequences. Next time we won't be so nice. Thanks for the gear, but you still owe us. See you soon. So apparently we owe them for something. Uh, the, the, the game hinted at the fact that we ripped off the Duke in the, you know, before the game started or something. I don't know. Not really sure what that's all about, but... Um, anyway, just kind of some cool story stuff. Okay, so I think all of our trading stuff is done for now. Uh, we should keep a beer on our toolbar if we get in trouble, which we almost certainly will. And uh, I think that's about all we can do right now. So let's go ahead and take a job. Um, probably, oh man, there's no berry treasure, or I mean buried, oh shit, Ooh, this is going to be super hard uh, to do all this, well let's, let's go ahead and take this Claire Zombies, I mean it's close by, um, boy, alright, I was kind of hoping for a buried, buried uh, treasure quest, okay, well, now, next order of business is we've got to figure out where we're going to set up our base and I want it to be near water so let's get back up here and we're gonna have to jump over the wall away from those other guys okay so there's um there's a structure over that way and like we got the little town here there's the query quest right there what is this I don't know what that is uh, okay, so I don't see any water, but there's probably a house somewhere in this town that's going to have a swimming pool, I would think. Um, I don't really want to just go wandering out in the woods because there's so many wolves now. It's not safe to do that. So I think what we should do is maybe just uncover the town here and see if we can find... Um, a water source. Uh, we want to stay away from bikers. <laughs> they are deadly on always run. Absolutely nightmarishly deadly. Uh, but we need to get out of here and get away from those guys. So let's run this way. Are we being pursued at all? I don't think so. All right. Oh, that's the A-frame, right, okay. So, yeah, let's run back into town. And, uh, you know, like I said, we've got to find... Oh, nice. That's all night stuff. Oh, yeah, we have lockpicks now, too. Um, and they're actually really cool. If it, What happens is you have a, a chance of it breaking. Uh, and I'm sure that, you know, your your skill, if you spec into it, affects that. But, you know, you can come across a safe that would take you a million years to break open with a stone axe and, you know, open it or at least partially open it with a lockpick. So it's really, really cool. I like it. Let's mess around with that in the multiplayer game. 
Okay, let's see here. So I think what we'll do is let's run kind of run down this road and get like this little section here uncovered. And then we'll see where we're at from there. Excuse me. We will eventually excuse me, go through these houses and, you know, loot them and stuff. Um, and another change they made is that not every house is a dungeon now. So there are some POIs that you can actually go into and, you know, loot, like in the older versions of the game, and not have to deal with a big old sleeper spawn in a big dungeon house. So some, some, some houses still are, of course, uh, but some are, are more simpler. Uh, which is a nice change too because it made you know getting in even just getting into a house in alpha 17 in the early game almost impossible and it kind of makes sense that not every single house would have zombies in it anyway you know nope there's a net here lots of lead i wonder if we can still get uh honey out of here Let's take a look and see. Yes, you can. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so that'll help us with stage one infection. Gives you some energy, tastes great, and can help fight off early stages of infection and pneumonia. Okay, so it's not an instant cure, though, but I don't think anything is anymore. Not even an antibiotic is an instant cure. It was that way in 17 as well. All right, let's grab up some more arrows there. Yeah, we do have to keep our eyes peeled for wolves because they are more abundant. <clears throat> more abundant. It seems to me like we don't have quite as bad of a hit to our our stamina cap uh, from running as Alpha 17, which is really good because, you know, stamina is so important in the game, especially in the early game. There's, a, there's loot in that silo, but I can't remember if there's also zombies in it or not. That give us stuff? Oh yeah, we got an ear of corn. Nice. In fact, yeah, let's grab some corn. Food. How much do we get? Eight ears of corn. Excellent. We should be able to turn that into corn on the cob once we get a cooking pot and some water and stuff going. Speaking of which, do we see any water yet? We're kind of just looking for a swimming pool right now. I want to see if I can nab this bird's nest without that guy noticing us. Okay. All right, let's walk around this way. Lots of pigs and animals around, though. That's good. When we get to the point where we can kill them without them killing us we'll have a good supply of meat oh you know what I should be picking the goldenrod too because we took that uh, first master chef point <clears throat> let's grab this guy here chest nitrate powder not particularly useful to us right now maybe later you know one thing I haven't I don't think I've noticed here in the single player game is the chunk loading issue that I was seeing in the multiplayer uh, what would happen is you can actually see 
um, you'd see like this just big wall of terrain about, I don't know, 100 yards in front of you or something like that. And then as you move towards it, then it would like load in and be normal. So, uh, and I, I don't think, unless that happened in the very, very start of the game, I don't think I've seen that happen to us here, which is great. So it must be like a server latency thingamadoodle. Is that the same one we just looted? Yeah, okay. Nothing lootable there. Good old junkyard. We did some horde nights in the junkyard in the <clears throat> our Alpha 17 season. Fairly stout building for early game hordes. Oh, you know what? That's another thing about Alpha 17 that really sucked is uh, you would get junkyards and waterworks and power stations. We actually found something in a bag, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. What do we still need for clothing, by the way? We need gloves and we need uh, boots. So let's do... Um, Plant fiber shoes and gloves. <clears throat> yeah, so so there was something just really janky about the random generated worlds in 17. And uh, you would have all of these junkyards and waterworks and power stations and military bunker thing into it. No, well, not the bunker, but the military uh... oh nice fine nice fine we will wear that for sure we might hang on to the cowboy hat too um yeah we're gonna wear a dress <laughs> it's slightly better than the grass pants just don't tell anybody that old guy put a dress on okay Okay, he, he caught us. Is it just him? I think so. Okay, let's see if we can kill him. As long as we just have him to deal with and we don't attract anybody else, we can make this happen. He's moving pretty quick, too. Faster than they did in 17. We have to watch our stamina here. Oh, I hate this bow. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's scooching. He comes straight at me, dude. Oh, man, he just dodged right as I released the arrow. <laughs> oh, these guys are going to be hard to kill. Part of it, though, is we're using the shit bow, too. I mean, once we get the the next level bow, which is just called a wood bow, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to help. I do not want him to hit me because... Uh, we'll get infected. Oh, we have a chance. Oh, we got a new one. Okay, it's time to skedaddle. There's no way I'm going to try and take two on at the same time this early in the game. It's just not going to happen. Oh, shit! She's right on us! Oh, we got hit, too. I didn't... I didn't know she... <laughs> I didn't know she was that close to us. Oh, man, she's fast. Okay. This is not good. You know what I forgot to do, or should have done, is I should have made some uh, wood spikes. Oh, there's some wood spikes. Is it possible for us to get away from her? Whew, okay. See, that's why I took those those stealth skills, man. <laughs> oh, man. She was, like, freaky fast. I had no idea she was that close to me. And look, she hit us one time and we're down, like, 30% of our health. Oh, man, that was bad. Okay. Um, 
let's see here. We're going to take, I think I'm going to save this one. Let's take one of these. That'll get our health cap back. And then we're going to eat this, and that'll give us a little health too. We were lucky that we didn't get infected. Whew. Okay. Guys, I have a feeling like this is going to be one hell of a long haul. I do indeed. And it's starting to get nighttime too. That's all we need, right? Okay. Oh, look at that. There's water right there. Okay. So we found water. Water works, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, all right. So we now have a source of water. The trader's over here. Um, I'd like to I'd like to be just a little bit closer to the trader, but um, we might have to go with this this place. All right. So, let's see. If we What if we set up shop on the roof of the waterworks? I don't know if there's going to be sleepers up there is the thing. There's our... There's the girl zombie. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's going to be sleepers up there. Dang, they're all over the place. Hmm... Okay, well, at least we know where water is, okay? We know where water is. Let's move this direction. Um, I just want to kind of uncover a little more of this here. Like I said, I don't really care about nighttime. It's not that big a deal because they run all the time anyway. It'll be a little hard for us to see is all. Um, maybe maybe the fun pimps fixed, fixed the night vision and made it worthwhile. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Let's move over here and uncover a little bit more of this, though, and see if we can luck out and find either another waterworks or a swimming pool. Because I'd like to be a little closer to the trader than this. You know, considering the fact that it's not that easy to get around here in the early game. We can't just run from point A to point B. We've got to avoid these guys as much as possible. Can we make any more arrows, by the way? Um, yeah. One. <laughs> One more arrow. Oh, there's a bear. <laughs> oh, no. We don't want to mess with him. No, sorry. That bear will wreck us. And then some. Okay, we got two Zeeks over the, the direction we kind of want to go. Let's see if we can kind of move around them. We'll go this way. I want to actually grab some goldenrod, too. Um, let's look at something real quick. So, red tea. What's it do? Dehydration and max stamina damage reducing okay so it doesn't look oh i guess we can't make that anyway it doesn't look like we well no i think we can we just don't have the stuff for it uh, but this should yeah help us recover from dysentery plus i don't think the teas so so you have a chance of getting food poison even from boiled water now which doesn't really make a lot of sense but okay um so you have to actually have to have, have like <clears throat> mineral water, but I don't, if I remember, I don't think the teas will give you food poisoning either. So, I mean, if nothing else, we want to make the tea for that reason. Let's check this car here. They changed the cars, as you can see, they look different now. Another glue. Oh, let's grab it. Okay, so let's work our way over this direction. 
Let's just go down here real quick to uncover the rest of this area. Just on the off chance that we find a water source. No, this is a bunker here. Um, yeah, getting in there would be interesting. Clearing it would be more interesting. And would it actually keep us safe from the day-to-day -day zombies? I don't know. Not sure how smart they're going to be for getting down below. I think that house is pretty damn dangerous if I remember right. Alright, any swimming pools popping in anywhere? No, I don't see any. Yeah, we might have to rely upon that waterworks for our, our water source. You used to be able to take a jar and dip it in the toilet in older versions of the game to get water, but I think they nerfed that in Alpha 16. Maybe they brought it back. I don't know. We could try it at some point. I wouldn't count on it, though. Oh, we got a Z right there. We're going to have to come up with a, a cooking pot. We're getting really low on stone. Um, what's the recipes for this? Yeah, you can, you can no longer... Oh, you can make sham now. Interesting. Maybe we could do that before. You can no longer use these for boiled water. So... They're super, super useless in the early game, except for scrapping, of course. Uh, you used to be able to hang on to those and make boiled water until you found some jars. But they removed that, which I'm not really sure why they w would do that. All right. There we go. Duct tape. Definitely could use that for lots of stuff. That's the house that we have to clear. Uh, I don't think we're gonna be—I <laughs> don't think we're gonna be doing that one anytime soon. Um, we'll have to wait on that. Okay. All right, guys. Well. Uh, we are out of time once again. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. And I'm probably going to go ahead and turn the game off and go to bed because I'm kind of tired. And uh, we're not doing the quest right now. Later. We'll do it later, man. We'll do it later. So when we come back in the next episode, we're just going to kind of finish scouting out this town. And then uh, if we don't find another water source, we will probably um, probably base somewhere in between the water and the trader. Maybe around in this little group of finding one of those POIs to hole up in. Um, that's the general plan right now anyways, because it looks like this is the edge of town and it starts getting out back into the, to the toolies over that way. There's a very tall building that direction. We can maybe look at that. I wonder if this is one of those houses you can go into that doesn't have physiques in it. Yeah, probably these little houses are not dungeons. Some of them, anyways. Oh, excuse me. We just got to find a place to, to hole up here. Let's make some wood frames. And I need to actually start working on uh, some wood spikes too. Uh, let's do like about 10 of those. You know, this house is probably just about as good as any to 
Well, not the night. I mean, to log off on is what I meant. <laughs> Get up to the roof. Uh, there we go. Is that a little spawn point there? And you know what else we probably should do is make a chest so we can drop a few things off as well. That way we're not running around encumbered. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Share out the video and leave comments. Those things do help the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, like I said, when we come back in the next episode, we will just kind of finish scouting out this little town here. <clears throat> and then looks like there might be a little more this way we could look at. And then, you know, somewhere probably around in here-ish, I'm thinking we'll figure out a POI to, to get started with a base on. Okay? Catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.